The next question is, why are most Muslim scholars silent on the brutality, atrocity and oppression in Gaza? Yeah, salam alaykum. What a beautiful question. What did you do, my friend? What did you do? Why are Muslim scholars all silent and not doing anything? What did you do? Oh, I criticize the scholars. Zakallah <laughs> khair. Zakallah khair. Ya akhi, Muslim scholars all over the world are talking within their ability. And I am certain that they're all praying night prayer and tahajjud and doing a lot of dua. And they're doing everything in their ability, but we have limits. We have boundaries. No, it's none of my business, Sheikh. Go and throw yourself from a building to make a statement. Akhi, be my guest. I'll follow you. When you do this, I'll follow. No, you're a scholar. Okay, then sit down and shut up. If I'm a scholar, listen to what I have to say. You don't have the ability to speak and judge things from your ivory tower when you yourself are not doing anything. The scholars have limitations, have boundaries, and they do their level best. Ya akhi, let's assume they're cowards. Let's assume they don't have a spine. Don't they have many, many good things that they're contributing to the community and to the Muslims and then benefiting it? It's the only thing left in this world is to do this thing that you want them to do. Okay, we support Gaza. May Allah destroy Israel. Say Amin. So someone who has it, hmm, should I do this? <laughs> I don't know. My contract is about upon to yeah, the renewal next month. We support our Muslim brothers and sisters unconditionally. Not only in Palestine, in China, in uh, uh, the Rohingya, in, in, in Burma. We support them wherever there is oppression. But then what? Oh, Sheikh, you, why don't you speak about this and that? Okay, I'll speak about it. Uh, what about this and that? Is this top of the pops? Are we in the, 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 the music industry? I'll, I'll list the 10 best songs. You, what, what do you like me to uh, sing for you? This is not Islam. And this is a problem with laymen, with people of ignorance, people who do not study the deen. I come and give a khutbah. Whoa, good khutbah, Sheikh, but why didn't you speak about this and that? Okay, next week I speak about this and that. Good khutbah, Sheikh, but why do you don't speak and teach the people how to pray? I said, okay, I'll teach the people next week how to perform wudu. And the one comes to me, Sheikh, why do you only, you scholars, speak, up, speak about purity and urine and menses? Why don't you speak about something that benefits the ummah? Akhi, how many topics do I have? Gazillion. How many khutbah do I have? 54 a year. And if you look at my track record of 37 years of khutbah, alhamdulillah, before I retired last year, you will find that I've covered everything almost. Still, every khutbah, at the end, someone comes to me and says, Sheikh, why did you speak about this? So I speak about this next week. Sheikh, why did you speak about the seerah? We don't know the Prophet, so I speak something about the seerah. I said, Sheikh, this is all what you do, Sufi stuff. Talk about politics. I speak about politics. And then another says, Sheikh, you are Khawarij, you're doing this and that. Speak about Tahara. I speak about Tahara. Back again to menses and postnatal bleeding. <laughs> or call Elon Musk and go to another planet. <laughs> Maybe they will establish a new masjid. This is not how it is done. Islam is so huge, so big. But when you come with the intention of criticism, I don't want to learn. I want to criticize the speaker. I don't like his voice. I don't like he looks how he looks. I don't like his Arab attire. I don't like his accent. I don't like this. You will never learn. When you come to the khutbah with the sole purpose of criticizing, wallah, you will not ever learn. Maybe you will not even enter Jannah. A'udhu Billah. Why? Because your intention is not for the sake of Allah. Your intention is to criticize. No, come to benefit even if the man giving khutbah or leading the prayer is much, much less than you in knowledge. Because your objective is to learn and to get closer to Allah even if a child comes and gives you advice. You learn it and you benefit from it. And Allah knows best.